Hey everybody, it's Aaron from The Kid We Laugh. Oh, I just want to start off by thanking Element for sponsoring this video. I thought I would just do a walk and talk today. Whoa, dropped my stuff. My daughters are across the street here doing dog training and I thought I'd get my steps in for the day. I'm a little behind. Today was the day that I took that niacin. My face is still red. I wasn't expecting to have that kind of reaction to that niacin and I got some comments like why would you take niacin it's like well I was reading through comments and people were saying you know when it comes to uh, cholesterol that niacin can help lower LDL raise HDL and lower triglycerides I'm like okay well sounds like my healing <laughs> will come faster if I tried that and uh you know, I, th I think I'm doing all right. My LDL cholesterol being like 438, even though people say it's all right, people on the internet, it's just so much higher than what the doctors say. And I try not to worry about it. There's an uneasiness in the back of my mind that I, that I keep trying to fight down and it's just difficult, so. I thought I would try that niacin. Yeah, it made me have hot flashes. I assume that's what it's like to be metapausal. That probably just got me in trouble saying that. Yeah, this video will come out right after my last video where I was talking about my, my endocrinologist appointment and just how I've been wrestling through how to look at my health what voices to listen to because I have to take it seriously I have to take my health seriously and it's probably somewhat exhausting for some people that watch my channel and say Aaron why do you wrestle with this you wrestle with this this is this this is this okay thank you <laughs> thank you for beating on me and pushing me forward but I still feel like I have a responsibility to myself and my family to not worry, not be anxious about stuff, just to try to do due diligence. Yeah, I've been super busy lately uh, at work and at home. There's just been so many things and I don't wanna say I'm burned out on YouTube, but it's it's been it's been tough lately just trying to fit in trying to come up with video ideas while I'm already busy at work and stuff like that. But I'm trying to wrap my head around how to keep a schedule and uh, do everything that I need to do and stay accountable and just bring uh, some insight, if I can, to people's lives when it comes to dieting because I feel like I've learned a lot in the last year on the carnivore diet. I know I've learned a lot. And I've got a lot of healing from it. I keep dropping this piece of paper. It's very annoying. I know I got a lot of healing from it, but I still feel like I'm a little green. Like I still got a lot to learn. And what I mean is like, I feel like going over a year on the carnivore diet, I just keep getting in my mind that I've earned some treats in my life. and. The treats that I'm giving myself are carnivore treats. Stuff that people that watch my YouTube channel eat every day. And it's funny because I feel like I'm cheating by doing the carnivore diet. Because compared to lion diet, it's like so, so free. <laughs> Which is just completely weird to me because coming from a standard American diet, going to the carnivore diet seemed like how, how is anyone ever going to survive like this? How, how could anyone survive not being like inspired to make some cool dish or something fancy, cut up a bunch of garnish and throw it on there? And I've gone so far that now my brain is reset and I'm like, wow, the carnivore diet has so many options and I could do this and I could do that and I could experiment with this and have a little bit of fun with it but there's something in me that is concerned that I'm you know like off the path a little bit 
like I'm just just taking a couple steps off the path and I just have experience in my life knowing that you step off the path sometimes next thing you know you're <laughs> you're across the river you know you're a boiled you're a boiled frog you know it just doesn't happen immediately it usually takes time so I'm glad I have that like danger 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 but I'm eating carnivore other than you know a little bit of spices here and there and I do also know that sometimes it's not wise to be so restrictive or at least feel guilty for not doing something like as extreme as someone else there's a lot of judging yourself against other people and I do it I judge myself against other people that I see on YouTube like this is their diet and sometimes I'm like why would they eat that and other times I watch people I'm like man you're right I felt the best on just the lion diet the best I felt was on lion diet it's true it's the best I felt but it was also a little boring from time to time <laughs> and then I ate some food that I didn't care but and so I'm trying to find a happy medium where I can give myself some space to learn and to grow without getting so far off the rails that I make some mistake the trick to mistakes is just the not give up I was talking to my wife today I was like I should come up with a shirt that says never always quit <laughs> She's like, what are you talking about? Never always quit. There's some things you always want to quit. There are things that you're doing that are so beneficial for you that are hard sometimes that you fail at. And instead of quitting, don't always quit. <laughs> get back at it and start it again. And I've said fall down less and get up faster when you do. But that's hard to do. That's hard to do. It's hard to get yourself in that mental space where you're not completely just disappointed with yourself and hiding from yourself. I think about this diet all the time and it's exhausting <laughs> sometimes thinking about food all the time. But I, I said in my last video, like I'm really enjoying this freedom on the carnivore diet. But just is, every time I say that, it, it just blows me away. Like, that's crazy. The most restrictive diet, you know, in the world that people say, but I, I feel like it's so freeing. I have some freedoms because I earned them and not like I earned them so I deserve them and anyone tells me I shouldn't have them, I'm gonna fight for them, no, it's, I earned them and I shouldn't beat my body for no reason. I've come so far. I'm always hesitant in some respects to tell people, especially newly on this diet, not to beat their bodies. No, beat your body for a while. See what you're made of. See what you're made of. I've come to a, a certain place where I know what I'm made of. And if I'm fooling myself, I'll let you know on YouTube because <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time but I can't help but be thankful for what I've learned so far I've also learned that I don't like niacin <laughs> my face got all puffy and red and I had a really good workout this morning and man I, I I was on fire, it's like my body ate a jalapeno pepper on, on the outside. Whew. I think I'll just stick the carnivore. Let me know down in the comments anyone that has had experience with niacin. It's, it's vitamin B3, if no one knows what that is. And there's a lot of studies saying it helps LDL cholesterol and things like that. So. I thought it was worth a shot. I try not to supplement because what's the point of having a diet if you need to supplement it? Uh, that's why I did Fish Fridays. 
and I have iodine just in case, but I try to just stick the fish Fridays instead of taking the pills. Put my camera in a tree here. Let's see how this works. I'm a little thirsty. So, Element is a tasty electrolyte drink that has all the stuff you want and none of the sugar. I like this kind, the raw, unflavored version. That was 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium, which I know that. Why did I have to read that? And I got this cool Element Yeti. Mix a pack in there. Honestly, that's a little bit too salty for me sometimes, so I like the half it or I have another container that's double this size. I probably should have checked it, what that size was. But my wife was talking to me about Element. I'm like, hey, you, you, you drinking all the Element? She's like, no. Actually, I'm not. She said, when we first got it, she still felt like she was craving it and craving it and craving it. She's like, but I think now I'm not craving it as much because I got my minerals. <laughs> so I think my wife was struggling from electrolyte imbalances and now she doesn't crave it as much because she's got an imbalance, but it's nice. That's nice. I thought I'd let you guys know that. <sighs> the cool thing about Element, it has none of the junk in it that you find in a lot of other electrolyte powders. No colorings, no artificial flavors, no sugar, no BS at all. For me, I really try to stick to that unflavored version because the other stuff is addicting. <laughs> but I, I have given myself some freedoms where I will have one per day on the weekends. And yes, wow, that's crazy. But we all have different struggles and health journeys that we're at, but I do know that my body works way better when I have electrolytes. Before workouts, after workouts, it just takes that edge off. And yeah, I need this today. I'm thirsty. Element was kind enough to give us a link. If you go to drinkelement.com slash Kilby, that's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T slash Kilby. With any order, they will give you a free sample pack and it has eight of their flavors. I tried one of their chocolate salt ones with the caramel last weekend. Man, that was a nice change because I haven't tasted chocolate in over a year. <laughs> but again, just go to drinkelement.com slash Kilby and you can claim your free sample pack with eight flavors and you can try them all and you can share them with a salty friend. So here's another thing that I've been thinking about when it comes to the carnivore diet. I'm out here on this bike path and it's morel mushroom hunting season one of my favorite pastimes and i've i've had people message me because i've talked about them before they're like just eat the morel mushrooms well it's not carnivore well seasonings are not carnivore either <laughs> what will, will it derail me and so these are the things i wrestle with these are the things i wrestle with like eating some morel mushrooms but there's something about me going out into the woods i'm even Look, I got a shirt that says hunt, hunt like a warrior. Like going out in the woods and like hunting for something and searching for it and finding it, looking for it like silver and gold and finding it. There's just something about that just seems special. And my kids like it, so we'll go out there. And I'm, my goal is to probably have a couple morel mushrooms this year. And last year on the diet, I had a couple, but I could have had a lot more. You don't understand how much self-control I practiced. A lot of self-control practiced not to eat those mushrooms. Yeah, I cook them up in some butter or some Wagyu fat. Just a little bit, just a little bit. I don't think it will derail me. But I was just talking about how you go out and search for these things like, like silver and gold. And it reminded me immediately of how much work I've put in on this diet in the last year and how much I've been searching for health, optimal health, trying to figure out what that is, if there's an actual optimal for me, if optimal is a thing you could do. You never know how healthy you could be until you get there, but I've been searching, searching for 
health in my life, like silver and gold, even more, because what's the point of having silver and gold if you don't have breath? And obviously I'm taking that silver and gold from the Bible where the scripture says, if you search for me like silver and gold, you will find me. Yeah, so I'm on a journey. I'm on a journey searching for health. And I will also be on a journey searching for some mushrooms. And if I lose my carnivore card, I'll just have to reapply. <laughs> and not to be not to be weird about it. Like I don't want to make fun because the carnivore diet has gave me so much healing and I'm so thankful for it. And it's still when I think about this being the diet that I've been able to stick to, the more restrictive one, and and just find healing and strength, man. I still can't believe it. They're out here racing these boats out on the river that's kind of cool but that's a workout a couple weeks from today it will be our church having a man camp and last year at man camp i was like a month in or so on my carnivore diet and we were having these competitions and i'm running around this pond and it was like the right when i started noticing like changes were happening with my body and my energy level and we're like having these like tr trying to climb these rock walls with the ropes the rock climb and i i went pretty far up one and i'm like man it's at a different place but if they have that maybe i can maybe i can climb that wall this year maybe i'm strong enough i've lost a bunch more weight i've been working out it was three times a week now it's five times a week maybe i'm strong enough now I'm like these these 20 somethings i'm almost 45 years old but these 20 somethings need to watch out don't sleep on me <laughs> don't sleep on me <laughs> so i'm excited to go out there and not injure myself i gotta remember i'm still almost 45 but you know i've been pushing myself so i know a lot of my strengths and my my weaknesses right now so i'm excited to do that and I got that freedom to do that. Because in my mind before, it'd be like, well, I'm just gonna be one of these older older guys, like sitting and talking and not, you know, letting these young guys do these things. But no, I raced that 21 year old kid at work a couple weeks ago and he barely beat me on a race halfway down the block and back. And I know for a fact I would have beat him if it was longer because right after that race, I felt good. I was like, I was breathing. I was upset that I lost barely, but I was breathing just fine. <laughs> he went into the other room. He went into the bathroom and puked his guts out. Uh, and yes, that seems a little sadistic, but that's all right. <laughs> Gotta keep these kids honest. And I'm smiling when I say that, and not because I wanted him to throw up, but because I'm proud of the work I put in. And it was just, it's more evidence to the people around me what I could do. I, I have like a really horrible video of that. I might throw it in this video. You guys get a kick out of it. Not him throwing up, but man, I should have won that. He's like way shorter than me. It's like his legs move so fast. All right, well, I just want you to know that I am at a place right now where I thought I could never be. I never thought I was gonna be at this place. I thought it might be possible, maybe, but I didn't know how to get started and I didn't know how to put in the hard work. And I didn't know what that work would look like. That's why I'm so thankful for the carnivore diet and lion diet for 
is making it easy and like the simple mode, easy mode. Diet over exercise, baby. The diet will make you want to exercise. It'll make you want to exercise. It'll give you energy and motivation to do it. Next thing you know, you're a different person. I became a different person. Fortunately, I get to take all that wisdom with me and bring it along, but I'm, I'm the guy that did it. I'm the guy that is not, does not have any plans at failing. But I'm also the guy that knows that if I can do it, anyone could do it. Because I could be very mentally weak. And I could not, I could, I'm one of those people that have gave up on myself many, many times. I'm the, I've been the person that um, has not overcame. I needed to be an overcomer, but I didn't do it. I gave up. So never always quit. <laughs> never always quit on yourself. Unless it's something very damaging, obviously. Like, I'm glad I always quit cigarettes and I always quit drugs. I'm glad I did those things. Now, if I could always quit being a, a turd on the internet, I'd probably lose subscribers. <laughs> all right, you guys are a blessing to me. Love you all. Kill me out. Hey, I almost forgot. Element has no gluten. That's important. Because gluten is crap. <laughs>